Hey, Mustangs, uh, Dungeon Master here again, and we're today going to look at Southeast Asia. Uh, we're going to examine the geography of Southeast Asia, and we'll start with light review. Um, yesterday, you would have covered the um, some of the nations, and we talked about how Southeast Asia is divided between um, mainland and the insular region. So here's your mainland. And then the rest is insular. Which is a fancy word. It comes from Latin. Which means islands. Okay. So mainland area here. Islands area here. Two big areas. Um, mainland has these five countries, Myanmar, used to be known as Burma, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Malaysia. Sorry, that's six, isn't it? But Malaysia kind of counts, kind of doesn't count. Malaysia is attached to the rest. But if we cross the sea here, we actually find that, that Malaysia comes in two parts, two big pieces. One piece is here on the island of Borneo, the other piece is here. So Malaysia is split between the two. Uh, Indonesia is the yellow country. Little tiny Timor Leste or East Timor is right here. The Philippines, a very large country with a lot of connections to the United States, it used to be a territory of the United States. This little tiny group, red, this little red thing here is called Brunei. And then this little, little tiny one called Singapore, which is actually a, a very wealthy country, a very large city of six million people or so. But it's an island country. Okay. Uh, so those are our nations. Let's look at the physical map. Um, notice here the elevations. The darkest brown is your mountains. And there are some mountains here that run down the spine of this island. Some mountains here. And even though they're not very clear on this map, there are mountains that run all along the edge of these islands of Indonesia. And they're all volcanoes. A lot of them are active. And there's some mountains up in this area. And the highest place is right up here. This is actually very near the Himalaya mountains. Okay. So this is, this mountain here is almost 20,000 feet high. Um, most of the area though, you can see is green, which means relatively low lands. Um, let's look at climate a very important aspect of Southeast Asia. Right here, pink, dark pink is tropical rainforest. And the island of, or the nation of Indonesia, which is all these islands, is mostly tropical rainforest. There is also some pink, which is tropical savanna, and that means it's more grasslands. The tropical part means it's really warm, it's near the equator. All of Southeast Asia is in the tropics. This is the equator. North of it is the Tropic of Cancer. South of it is the Tropic of Capricorn. And as you can see, it straddles both sides of the equator. So, Southeast Asia is very, very warm climate and lots and lots of rain. So they have actually perfect conditions growing a lot of agriculture and that's what they do. Um, the population density, we'll look real quick. Notice here, Indonesia is the fourth largest country in the world and most of the people live on this island right here and a lot of them live on this island. These are huge, huge population bases. The Philippines is almost entirely covered with as you can see, 